Welcome back to Raw Synergy TV and this What I Ate Today video. My day actually starts by prepping the night before with some vitamin C powder. Because of histamine issues, I take a lot of vitamin C and the only vitamin C that I've been able to tolerate really well is sodium ascorbate. And I use anywhere between five and seven grams. So I put this in my jar the night before, put a lid on it, then when I get up in the morning, it's all prepped and ready to go. All I have to do is pour in my spring water, give it a little swirl to make sure it dissolves completely, and then pour the rest in. You can't taste the vitamin C at all. In fact, it actually makes the water go down really easily. It tastes really smooth, much better than if it were just plain water. Once we get back from our walk, it's time for celery juice, which I make in my Nama J2 juicer. This juicer was a total game changer during my juice cleanse. And I've been drinking around 18 to 20 ounces of celery juice every day. My husband also has a small glass with me as well. I drink it on an empty stomach before eating anything. I've been drinking celery juice every day for about two years now, and I've really noticed that it helps with my digestion. I always wait about 15 to 20 minutes before adding anything else into my system, and I always try to wait until I absolutely feel hungry before I eat anything. Since breaking my juice cleanse, I've been maintaining a couple of juices a day in order to meet my caloric needs on an all raw diet. So after my celery juice, I typically drink a large glass of fresh pressed apple juice, usually around 32 ounces or one liter. And I have this with Daily Green Boost, which is organic barley grass juice powder. It's recommended to mix this in with your smoothies or on top of your fruit bowls or salads, but I personally just love the taste of it all by itself. It has a nice salty flavor and I just eat it right off the spoon. However, I don't recommend this because it is a powder and it's easy to inhale if you are not careful. So I've done this a couple of times and it's not pleasant but I really don't like to mix it into my juices or smoothies because it really does alter the taste. And since I really like the taste of it by itself, that's how I take it. Later on when I felt hungry again, I cut up three Kent mangoes, which were absolutely phenomenal. They are sweet, tart, and candy-like. So good. I followed that up with a small amount of fresh blueberries and then a little while later had some fresh passion fruit direct from my backyard garden. Passion fruit has a really unique and distinct texture and flavor. It's very tropical, sometimes sweet and tart and just very delicious. It's really good eaten plain just like this, which is how I usually eat it, but it's also wonderful mixed in with juices, or sometimes I like to eat it on top of mango or an ice cream. My friend John loves it on watermelon. Now normally for dinner I would have a really big green salad like this one filled with all kinds of veggies and greens like microgreens and sprouts, maybe some kale, zucchini noodles. This one had carrots, beets, onions and a big side of mango. But this wasn't any night. On this night, we went out to dinner to our favorite raw food restaurant for a very special occasion. Right now we are heading down to San Diego. It's our 27 year wedding anniversary. So we're gonna go celebrate at our favorite raw vegan restaurant called Peace Pies.
Without traffic, San Diego is about an hour to an hour and a half away from where we live. It's a beautiful drive and most of it is along the coast, so it makes this adventure that much better. Peace Pies is an all raw, vegan, gluten free, soy free, zero waste restaurant. They get their produce from local farmers and compost all of their food scraps. We always have a great experience every time we come here, and the food is so clean and healthy, but yet so delicious. All of their raw vegan desserts are exceptional as well. My husband ordered the Samoa, the Butterfinger, and the Twix bar. The restaurant itself has a super chill, boho vibe and a quaint little patio for outdoor dining surrounded by lush, beautiful plants. Perfect for a hot summer day. I ordered their karmic kale salad, which comes with golden beets, carrots, red bell pepper, hemp seeds, and a tahini garlic dressing. I also ordered their magical mango curry wrap, which comes with mango and mixed veggies wrapped in a coconut tortilla. It's served with a side of coconut curry sauce, as well as a big helping of their amazing kale chips. This wrap also comes with avocado, which I opted to leave out because of the high histamine content. My husband ordered their Celestial Caesar wrap, as well as the Luna Tuna wrap. We both absolutely loved everything we ordered. Then we headed home just in time to watch the sun set right into the ocean. Once we arrived home, I took my second serving of daily green boost for the day along with more fresh pressed apple juice. Other supplements I take are Enterovite, which supports the intestines and intestinal cell function, Cbiotica probiotics, which are safe for those who have histamine sensitivities. I take one capsule of each twice a day. I also take organic stinging nettle in capsules and this alcohol-free tincture. The tincture I take three to four times a day and the veggie caps I take two capsules in the morning and one at night. I also take daily doses of iodine and B12 and twice a week I take a zinc and selenium capsule. Even though I wasn't able to log the food at Peace Pies because I don't know the amounts of everything that went into the meal, I know many of you like to take a look at Chronometer to see exactly what I'm getting and the ratios of everything, so I thought I would take the day of food that I ate beforehand and include my usual salad so you can see exactly what I'm getting on a typical day. My ratios are right in line with the 80-10-10 diet. I got 83% carbs, 9% protein, and 8% fat, and just over 2,000 calories. I hit all of my other nutritional targets. Vitamin D I get either from the sun or I also use a vitamin D sun lamp. And then with zinc, I do supplement that a couple of times a week. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I will catch you all in the next video.